uh, that you might remember has a freshly incumbent Congress government in power with Siddhar Ramaya at the helm and DK Shiv Kumar as the Deputy Chief Minister. Remember, there was much political coverage of the supposed uh, anxiety shared between the two leaders with DK Shiv Kumar reaching a off-the-books agreement to take part of the term of Chief Minister after Siddhar Ramaya had had the first half. Now, that rift between the two only seems to be intensifying with DK Shiv Kumar making a statement about the time in which Siddhar Maya was last the chief minister. He said that Siddhar Maya got scared, I would have bull my, bulldozed my way through. His remark was specifically about a controversial steel flyover project that his government, that the Siddhar Maya government decided to drop in 2017 because of civic backlash. Take a look at what DK Shivkumar had to say. <laughs> Let's go over to my colleague Akshara who's joining us right now. Akshara, first if you could take us back to the controversy itself. I know it played out in 2017. What was the kind of backlash that the Siddharamaya government faced? A. And B, then could you tell us more about this comment and the fact that DK Shivkumar made it when obviously the fact that there is tension between him, him and Siddharamaya is a, is a widely known fact. What do experts think were his intentions by making these comments publicly? If you could tell us about both. Well, first, uh, in 2017, this particular uh, since, uh, project was uh, you know, proposed by the Maya government uh, in 2017 in order to improve the connectivity to the airport. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, the government had to go, go ahead with this particular project. 800, 800 uh, trees, almost uh, 800 trees were supposed to be cut. So we see this uh, severe, severe backlash from many experts and uh, environmentalists in Bengaluru. Uh, so Sidramaya had to drop this particular project uh, and uh, he didn't go ahead with the steel player project. So speaking about this whole scenario, uh, you have DK Shukumar, the deputy. PTCM and also one of the chief minister aspirants for the Karnataka state uh, has made a hard eating statement against Sidramaya uh, in the open public day. Uh, he goes on to say that Sidramaya and many uh, other ministers in his cabinet were scared to go into this project. So unlike him, if he was given that particular opportunity to build a flyover, he would have bulldozed his way through this, unlike Sidramaya and other ministers who got scared. So it is not, uh, not in a good taste uh, to be in consideration the fact that they both are from the same party and uh, uh, two, uh, two uh, politicians who hold a higher post in Karnataka. So uh, it is not in a good taste that uh, DK Shukumar has made publicly against his fellow congressman here in Karnataka. But Akshara, uh, DK Shukumar is a very calculated political player. What do experts think? Why did he make that statement on record? Uh, well, you see, right now the debate for uh, no, the debate surrounding the uh, building flyovers and tunnels up uh, in Bengaluru city for its development has once again come to the fore. And the uh, DK Shukumar holds the portfolio for Bengaluru Development Authority. Uh, okay, and also uh, Akshara, just stay with us for a second, please. If I could actually request you to stay with us, Ashok Gowda on the phone from the BJP. Sir, good morning. Thank you for joining us here on CNN News 18. Sir, this controversy playing out where you have a barb being thrown by DK Shukumar, it's impossible to interpret that statement in any other way. So how is the BJP responding to this? We have been always clearly saying that Sidramaya uh, was always yielded to the pressure of the corrupt ministers in his cabinet then. Then the develop Bengal Development Minister was KJ George, who was a close associate of um, Sonia Gandhi as well as like you know, to Sidramaya. And why did the steel flyover stop? And only uh, once Yadurapa came into the power after almost three, three and a half years from 2017 till 2019, and the project was taken up in 2020. Hardly six months we completed the project, and now now the road is clear to for anybody to uh, move across. But whereas Sidramaya government or HD Kumar Swami's government did not do anything. Why? Sir, but uh, I, I do want to ask you, because you are from the region, you can bring our audience's context. A lot of the media from the time says that it wasn't corrupt politicians, as you're saying, that influenced Sidramaya, but civic backlash, because 800 trees would have had to be cut down to build that flyover. That's why there was civic backlash to this entire issue. So there is two steel flyovers. 
the steel flyover which was spoken is about like you know uh, uh, shivananda circle supply steel flyover another steel flyover which is supposed to come up from uh, from golf club till ebada circle that is where like you know few trees had to be cut mm-hmm. up yes. right but 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 see uh, the same issue was there for the metro construction in uh, in lakshman drav park road that is in jainagar okay what did metro do metro consulted the uh, consulted all the civic authorities and that is like you know including the people of the area and they said that okay we will we will not cut any maximum trees we will uh, like you know only few trees less than 10 trees have been cut that's it less than 10 trees and they did a metro construction in the center of the road and whereas there is a two lines one is the purple line one is a green line as well as yellow line starting so even for the yellow line also they did not cut any trees so that is a kind of the uh, approach which metro can metro that is including the central government which is which is part of the metro has taken up whereas the state government why can't it not convince the civic uh, civ- civilians okay. saying that like you know yes we, we can do this project this way they are not interested they just want to play with the people and they, it it takes from from vidhan sauda to cross hebala it minimum takes 20 minutes in elinar okay. and in a peak hour it takes 40 45 minutes mr gowda thank you for uh, illustrating the situation for us